Good afternoon. Welcome back to uh, Advent Together as we think about some Advent themes and build our Jesse tree for Christmas. Have you had a Christmas card yet? Or have you had lots of Christmas cards yet? We had our first Christmas card about a week ago now. And every year, I'm sure you get quite a few Christmas cards. Did you know that uh, Christmas cards were originally designed here in the UK? The first Christmas card is believed to have been sent in December 1843 by someone called John Calcott Horsley, who was a well-known painter. And it was at the request of his friend, Sir Henry Cole, who was the founding director of the Victoria and Albert Museum. It took a few years for the custom of sending Christmas cards to take off, but take off it did. And now around 1 billion Christmas cards are sent a, a, every year here in the UK, in normal years anyway. Christmas cards help us to wish people a happy Christmas. They convey a message. They communicate uh, between friends and between family. And today's story is about communication. We're no longer in the book of Genesis, but we're in the book of Joshua. Again, it's in the Old Testament, somewhere near the front of the Old Testament, so somewhere near the front of the Bible, um, but it's not the very first book. And we're in jo Joshua chapter two. It says this. Then Joshua sent two spies from the camp at Achaia with orders to go and secretly explore the land of Canaan, especially the city of Jericho. When they came to the city, they went to spend the night in the house of Rahab. The king of Jericho heard that some Israelites had come that night to spy out the country, so he sent word to Rahab, the men in your house have come out to spy out the whole land, bring them out. Rahab went up on the roof and said to the spies, I know that the Lord has given you this land. Everyone in the country is terrified of you. Promise me that you will save my father and my mother, my brothers and sisters and all their families. Don't let us be killed. The men said to her, may God take our lives if we don't do as we say. If you do not tell anyone about what we have been doing, we promise you that when the Lord gives us his land, we will treat you well. This is what you must do. When we invade your land, tie this red cord to the window that you have let us down from. The spies go back to Joshua and the camp of Israel and they tell them all about Jericho. And then the Israelite army marches upon Jericho to take siege of it uh, and to then take the inheritance of the promised land that God had promised to them. But these soldiers, these spies, they remember the command they had given Rahab. They remember that they told her to leave a sign of which of her, which window was hers, telling them which house was hers. And so her family were protected because they helped God's people. The symbol that was placed in the window was red rope red rope from a distance might look like a stream of red water and we can think of that relating to Jesus in Jesus dying upon the cross his blood becomes for us the symbol of our forgiveness Rahab sacrificed her safety for the safety of her whole family Jesus sacrificed his life so that we might know the love of God. We've got our questions for today. First one is, if you love Jesus, when did you decide to be part of God's family? And the second question, what helped you make that decision? God invites everyone to be part of his great big family and he does it in all sorts of different ways 
but the invitation is always the same. The invitation always starts with, I love you, for I have made you, and I call you by your name. Know that God loves you, that he calls you by your name, and he wants you to be part of his great, big, amazing family. So today, to remember Rahab, that rather mysterious person that is part of Jesus' family tree, we're going to place the symbol of the red rope on our Jesse tree. But first, let's pray. Jesus, thank you for being prepared to die for me so that I could live forever with you. Thank you that anyone and everyone can be part of your family. Thank you for loving me. Amen. <laughs>